Hey everybody, it's Rafi from Zurb. Foundation 6.3 just got a brand new off canvas menu thanks to Brett Mason. Now we already had a off canvas menu before, but this one is new and improved. It can open from the left, right, top, bottom, overlap your content, push your content, and work with sticky elements. Off canvas menus are an established responsive pattern, especially for mobile screens. But a lot of websites have been using them for medium size and desktop as well. And the foundation off canvas can also be used as a sidebar on medium and larger screens and then collapse down to the mobile view. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with the foundation off canvas and we're gonna show you some of those things and how to set it up today. All right, so the first really cool thing about the new off canvas is that the markup is much simpler than the old one. So before you had to have an off canvas wrapper, a wrapper inner, the off canvas itself, and then a wrapper for your off canvas content. You don't need all that for the version 6.3 and newer, so make sure you update to 6.3 and you can use this new version. If you're not on 6.3, uh, the old markup will still work just as well. So first thing we're gonna do is add an off canvas into our boilerplate here. Uh, this is a SAS project, and I'm gonna add it to the default layout. And that's good because if I'm making a global navigation that's going to be used on every page, uh, the default layout is the best place to put it. Now if you're on a CSS project, don't worry, it's going to look much the same as this anyways. So if you can just imagine that the body of your page is being injected here, where this uh, panini handlebars include is, and the navigation, so this would be like the desktop navigation. Um, is included right above that. So what we're gonna do is add the off canvas. So we're gonna go to the docs and we're gonna copy the off canvas right out of the docs. So there's really only two elements you need to create a basic off canvas. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy those into our page. So the first one that you need is the actual off canvas. So that's this with the off canvas class. It has a position, you can choose position top, left, right, or bottom. And then the ID, the ID is what um, the trigger is looking for to open this off canvas. So inside of here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a menu with a vertical class and we're going to add a couple um, links in here. Okay, so we'll just add some of these in here just so you can see what that looks like. So now we have our off canvas uh, and we also need a wrapper for our off canvas content. Now that's actually your page content. So we'll move down here and we'll go ahead and close this div. Okay, so we're gonna save that. We'll take a look at our page. And so here's our page on desktop. And when we get down to a small screen, uh, we have a title bar here that's triggering the off canvas to open and close. All right, cool, so that works as expected. So that's, that's really the basics of getting the off canvas set up. Now again, I can make this uh, left, right, top, bottom. Right now it's left. What if I wanted to trigger it on the right? Well, I can do that by changing this to position right. Now when I open this up, it's going to open to the right. Of course, I could do top and bottom, and it'll work much the same way. So. You notice that the default behavior is to push the content down. And we can actually, instead of pushing the content down, we can also overlap the content. So there's the bottom version right there. So if we want this to overlap, let's go ahead and do that. So if you look in the documentation here, we'll find the overlap. 
So what we can do is add a data attribute and it's the data transition attribute. So data dash transition and then the argument we're gonna pass in here is overlap. So we save that, go back here. And now our off canvas bottom overlaps our content instead of pushing it. So that's really nice. Now, there's a few things we can add to this automatically. So probably would just go ahead and copy this complete example here. So the complete example comes with a close button. We could put that inside of our off canvas. All right, so we have our close button there and actually this should be indented right there. And now if we check that out, Again, we'll scale this down to a small screen, click this. Now we have a close button in our off canvas. So that close button triggers closing the off canvas that it's inside of. You don't have to add an, uh, an ID to that. It automatically knows the wrapper that it's inside of. Now you can add multiple off canvases as well. So this is one off canvas. But let's go ahead and add a, another. So let's say I want a right side off canvas. So now instead of position bottom, I'm gonna put position right. And I actually wanna create click triggers um, on the main body content instead of uh, having to just do that on mobile. So let's say I want to be able to open a sidebar from anywhere inside the page. So we actually have some click triggers here. So we'll grab a click trigger from the docs and we'll add the click trigger in right after the navigation, just so it's easy to find. Okay, so the off canvas that we wanna open with the click trigger is position right. Uh, so we want to give this second off canvas a different ID. So we'll call this off canvas right. And we'll make this click trigger match that. So it's basically just a button with data dash toggle off canvas right. Now this data dash toggle argument needs to match the ID of the off canvas that you want to open. So when I save that, I have this click trigger here and now I can open the off canvas from anywhere inside of my page or application. So that's really neat. So there's a lot of things that you can do here. So we've, we've set it up, we've set a couple off canvases, um, we've done different positions, left, right, top and bottom. We have click triggers that can open them and also uh, a close button that you can use. So what if I want to actually have my off canvas menu open underneath this top navigation? So right now, as you can see, it overlaps my top navigation here vertically, but I want it to actually sit underneath and not overlap this content here. So what I would need to do is take the navigation outside of the off canvas wrapper, off canvas content wrapper. So I just took it out of here. I'm going to actually take it outside and above our off canvas up here. Okay, so that's one thing that needs to be done. We also need to position the off canvas inside of a container. So we're gonna add our off canvas wrapper to do this. Okay, so, so now if we're gonna position things outside of the off canvas so that the off canvas starts below it, we'll add an off canvas wrapper. I'll go ahead and scoot that over. Okay, so we added our off canvas wrapper. Now I'm going to position the off canvas uh, absolute. So if I go back to the documentation here, there is a class here, off canvas absolute, uh, that is made specifically for this. So on the right 
position off canvas. I'm going to add the class off canvas absolute right here. Save that. It's set to overlap already. So now when I open it, you can see that it starts below the top navigation. And that is really awesome. So another really cool thing that you could do building off of this is add another class and you might use this a lot actually. So we use this a lot for a lot of our application layouts and it's a class called reveal for, you can either do medium or large. So let's do reveal for medium. As you can see what that does is it opens the sidebar on a medium and larger screen. Okay, so you can see that the reveal for medium class created a sidebar here that stays open on medium and larger screens. So this is kind of creating an application type layout where you would have this sidebar open at all times. You can have it on the left as well. And then you have your primary navigation here at the top and then you can create a scrolling container inside of the body here. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with the new off canvas. It is greatly improved, works in so many different scenarios, and uh, it's really a treat to work with. So check out Foundation 6.3 in the new off canvas. Bam, and now you're a Foundation off canvas master. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do with the Foundation off canvas, both on desktop and mobile. So I really encourage you to add that to your projects and make something amazing. And if you're looking for the fastest way to learn foundation, make sure to check out our intro to foundation class. I'll include the link below. And I'm one of the instructors. I'll see you in class. This is Rafi signing out.